Welcome to Cinema KC. I'm Erin McGrain, your host. Tonight, Fair and Square Max by Patrick Clement. Pony by Kyle Kelly. Next, we visit another KC movie location with Teresa O'Leary. And Mapping Time by Danae Barnheiser. Right here on Cinema KC. Nice moves. <laughs> Thanks. What do they call you at home? Max. Max! Maxie boy! Maximilians! You don't look familiar to me. Are you a new boy? Of course you're a new boy. Ah, stick around. I'll show you how. I can't show you how. Look, Max, Harry Belafonte. You don't look so good, Max. Why don't I get you a coffee? Some of that coffee that gets us right with this world. How's about it, Max? Okay. We'll just stop or two. And don't forget handsome suitcase, Max. Well, that's a story, all right, Max. Whew. Quite a story. Can you believe it, Max? Threw away a perfectly good red hat. By first light, we'd already be right there next to that lake sitting. You know, Gary'd drive us out in his truck. That's my mom's husband, Gary. You know, he'd drive us in his red truck and we'd sit by that lake all day. And it was peaceful, I mean. Beautiful, Max. You should see it, Max. Yeah. Max, I've been meaning to ask, what, what's in suitcase? Huh? Nothing. Oh, come on, Max, we're pals now. Be a pal. You gave me red hat. Now, if I had suitcase, handsome suitcase, I'd tell you all about insides. What's inside? Huh? Here's 
that coffee, Max? No, we didn't have to buy a machine to pour water over some crushed bean on sale this week to get right with this world now, did we, Max? No, don't, don't take the lid off, Max. Don't do that. Keep lid on coffee, Max. You are a funny guy, Max. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll work it out. Don't worry about that. All right. There we go, Max. Hey, fair and square, huh? We're fair and square, you and me, right? I know that about you. Yes, sirree. You got gloves and suitcase, Max? No. Uh, uh, you're gonna need that gloves, Max. They throw it away when they get home anyway. You probably did that, didn't you, Max? What? Throw it away. Yeah. Well, it'll be different, Max, from now on. What's next? Well, I've got a place to sleep tonight, you know. Nice place. Quiet. Oh, you're invited. Maybe Kansas. Kansas? Well, I've never been out to Kansas before, Max. All the way out in Kansas. Now, what's in Kansas? Not a lot of cities in Kansas, Max. Farmland. Yes. Let's go to Kansas, Max. What's in suitcase? Huh? What's in suitcase? Got a cousin out there. Sells insurance. Tomorrow, Max. Me and you. Insurance boys. Heck of an idea, Max. How do we get there? We'll take that train. A train? The train. What train? Oh, the train. That dirty free train headed west through mountains toward plains. You'll see that, Max. Behold, how brightly breaks morning. A bleak our lot, our hearts are warm. Ah. Got you that coffee, Max. I, I can't lie, Max. Uh, so I want to be fair and square with you. I looked in the suitcase, Max. What's in suitcase? Nothing. Nothing's in suitcase, Max. Come. So, how about that train? Yes. yes, that train. That train, Max. That dirty free train. We're on our way west with promising morning sun to our backs. You just keep that bright promising morning sun on Max's back.
she was pretty freaky. That little girl we had, Molly Ray, is a pretty creepy little actress if she wants to be. And uh, yeah, kids can be very scary. You know, did you ever see what it was a child's play? Kids are creepy, man. I guess the joke is just on the see it coming kind of horror film or the see it coming kind of torture film. You know, you know where is it? What is it? You know, it ends up being where's the pony? The pony? But uh, we'll buy you a pony. Because the dad will never say no again. You know, it's just, it's, uh, it's always fun to, to, to write stuff like that and get it to work. Uh, the puppeteering was me, uh, Julian, and uh, another guy, I forget his name. Um, we, we had some puppeteers who were going to do it, and then they just decided they weren't going to do it. And so we just kind of winged it. And, you know, it's not perfect, but I think it works. It's, you know, it's kind of like an old, you know, kind of a, um, uh, old stop motion foreign film where <laughs> well, the words aren't really matching what was what their their lips are doing so uh so when at the end when when the puppet jumps up you see it like kicking our, our lead actor literally had his hand here and was like <laughs> just kicking it so the legs would move and it works so well i'm happy with it i i think audience should take away from my movie is to mm, you know maybe use birth control and protection because children are scary and they will kill you <laughs> all right <Anna. laughs>
goes hungry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Teresa O'Leary with Movie Trip. I love traveling the world and tracking down the real life locations of my favorite movies. Today, I'm in Kansas City, the Paris of the Plains, barbecue capital of the world, and the city of fountains. We all know about the major Hollywood movies that have shot here. There's In Cold Blood, Carnival of Souls, The Day After, and of course, Kansas City, but several independent productions have set up shop here too. Let's take a look. Released in 2016, Trust Fund was shot almost entirely in Kansas City. The movie is about a young Chicago-based writer who seems to have an ideal life. But when she discovers that her mother left enough money for her to choose her own path, her future is suddenly unclear. Trust Fund takes place in Italy in Chicago, but it actually was filmed right here on the plaza. The plaza is modeled after its sister city in Seville, Spain, and filmmakers used movie magic to transport this area across the globe. Fling, from 2008, was directed by Courtney Ford, who stars in the movie with her husband, Brandon Routh, who is most famous for playing Superman in the 2006 film, Superman Returns. Ford shot in neighborhoods all over Kansas City, like this one, The Crossroads. It's become one of the most popular destinations in Kansas City in recent years. It's a nightlife hotspot and hosts monthly parties with gallery openings, local artists, and concerts. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Teresa O'Leary. See you next time as we unearth more of Kansas City's secret movie history. With Mapping Time, I really wanted it to communicate um, just that evolution that we've gone through and how fast it has happened. Um, and I, I hoped, you know, with just the few minutes that I had that the, the viewer would be able to understand the impact that we've had on, you know, industrialization and urbanization and all of these different aspects of um, our society and how we have evolved. And then this environment just continues to get more and more busy and, and it goes from this simplistic lifestyle to something that is just chaotic. You know, you start out with this projection, this 2D image, and you project it onto this three-dimensional stage, and then recapture that with your camera, which is then projecting onto 2D again. Aesthetically, it definitely just started with this idea of experimenting with two totally different mediums and trying to bring them together and just see what happens. I mean, I definitely wanted to show both sides, and I didn't want to give a specific story, whether it is negative or, or positive. I want the viewer to decide on their own how they feel about it. Um, and so, you know, we have, we have a lot of positives that go into where we are, you know, nowadays uh, in today's society. Um, and we have a lot of downsides, you know, compared to that simplistic lifestyle. You know, now we're always on the go. It's, it's constantly just, you know, go, go, go. I hope that the viewers are able to see both the positive and the negatives um, out, of, out of that piece. My name is Danae Barnheiser and my movie is Mapping Time.